going on guys? Chad here with Force Family Homestead. Today we are going to be butchering um, this black pig right here. Um, as you can see I got two uh, other feed troughs set up. I haven't eaten since last night. Um, just got a gallon of skim milk uh, when pigs drink. They hold their head a lot stiller than when they're eating. So I'm going to try to get them to separate from each other just so she's not close. Um, she'll be going in a couple weeks. But right now I want to get him done. We're supposed to have a snowstorm on Sunday. It's supposed to be negative three. Uh, I want to get him done before then. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to get this done. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys shooting them. Um, YouTube will love that. So. <laughs> You guys will see afterwards. I'll uh, continue the video when I uh, get them hung up in my dad's house. I'm just gonna load them here onto this on my trailer here. Um, it's hooked to my truck. Take them out to my dad's, and uh, I made a ga uh, gambrel. Uh, you guys will see that when I get up there. Uh, I made it myself. It cost me 15 bucks, and uh, it'll hold a lot of weight. So, all right, guys, we're back. Uh, I'm at my dad's house. We. Uh, we got him hung up here. He's a lot bigger now that he's he's uh, dead. But we're gonna get him skinned out here and uh, let him hang for a couple hours. It's I was gonna film getting him up here. The winch didn't want to do it, so we ended up putting a pulley up here to help the winch out. Hooked it to the truck, got it up there. Um, now we're gonna skin him out and uh, go from there and let him hang, like I said, for a couple hours. Um, maybe until tomorrow, but it's supposed to be negative three on Sunday. I don't know, we'll see, but he'll get done here one way or another. He's a, he's a big boy. So I'm not sure how long my camera will last here because it's super cold out, but we'll uh, do what we can. So I'm just working my way up around the uh, hind legs here. It's easier to pull the cape down um, if some of you have never done a deer or anything before. Um, use the weight of the cape to pull the hide down and yeah. So, I forgot, I gotta show you guys. This is the gambrel I made. It's uh, one, two, and then I bent, heated up and bent this one. These are actually uh, concrete framing stakes, the three quarter inch ones. Uh, this is 30 inches wide, I believe I made it. Um, and I just heated up the ends and bent them up, as you can see here. Then I heated up the middle of this one, bent it over, Cut the ends off at an angle, welded it on. Um, I got a 600 pound rated eye bolt. Cut the, this is where the stud was on it, where it was threaded. Cut that off, welded that there, there. And then I had an extra piece that I cut off in the middle, so I welded it there just for support. Strongest, uh, strongest figures of triangle. So that's what we did. And uh, I was pretty confident that it would hold this pig. But at the same time, you know, you, you have your, your nervous doubts too, so. Um, but it did fine. He's hanging. Get him to cool down. And try to save some of this fat on here. Best we can. My knife might be a little dull because it and I stuck them with it, and I have a sharpener, but I like a semi-dull knife when I'm um, when I'm skinning because it doesn't, you know, cut as cut as deep. You don't accidentally cut stuff you don't want to. It's just so that kind of. Belly meat out 
a new grinder came in. It's probably, um, you guys will see me grinding a bunch of this up and whatnot here this weekend. So I'm probably going to have two back to back videos um, for you guys to see. And we'll get this done. I'm going to do the other uh, 10 pounds of venison that we have to do. Alright, guys, what's going on? So we got him down to about his front shoulders right now, fighting with him. So I didn't even uh, film it really. This is for my own consumption, this isn't for anybody else. So it's not like I care what it looks like. Um, I eat a lot of sausage, so there's going to be a lot of sausage ground. Um, uh, pulled pork, obviously. Um, I'll do some pork chops, uh, bacon, ribs, all that stuff. So, uh, I am going to have my mom's friend cure the hams. I'm not sure how I'm going to bag them yet. Um, only because I haven't found the shrink wrap for hands yet and apparently nobody knows where to get them so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do might wrap it in saran wrap and then uh, wrap it in a paper bag since you know we got paper bags now and no plastic ones do that and then uh, stick them in the freezer um, try to keep that the uh, from getting frostbite, so, or freezer burn, I'm sorry. Um, and go from there, if you guys can see. So for the legs and stuff, I just take my knife, put it under, go under the skin, and then just cut until it, until it splits. Uh, I cut down farther than I need to, but not that there's much. I mean, Getting them out, work your way around, let the hide do as much of the work as you can. Um, I did sharpen this off camera and then well, I cut around the legs and whatnot, dull it a little bit, which is fine. Like I said, let him hang for a couple of hours, do his thing, and uh. I don't even go to town butcher him, or cut, you know, cut them up and whatnot. I really can cut this away. It's his. Get around his butt here. I'll just grab this and. Work my way around. The rest I can. It breaks free. That's it, shit. Now I'm just going to, what I do is go like this. So I can stay on the spine when I cut it. Start your hair's tail and just cut. Stick your knife in if you don't feel bone. And you're probably off of the spine, but Cut down the spine. Your knife gives you a nice line to follow. Whether you use a sawzall or a meat saw, doesn't really matter. If I was going to use my meat saw, my dad told me to use a sawzall, so couldn't find the sawzall. So I could have just used the saw. Just fine. 
Guys, we're back. Let's go to town. Here. Too much more for you guys here uh, I'm just gonna let them hang and I'll bring you guys back tomorrow and we'll uh, cut them up so stay tuned for tomorrow and I'll give you guys some grinding footage some bacon footage some rib footage some ham footage we'll get her done tomorrow thanks for watching guys if you like these videos make sure you subscribe ring the notification bell so when I post again which will be tomorrow but in the future, you guys will see more videos like this. Stay tuned, guys. See ya.